I think, in a nutshell, I was probably the first person in the world who could be asked to sit down and map the journey that the whole human body takes through the walking gait cycle, which is a process in which every single joint in the human body moves in three dimensions uh, at each moment in the gait cycle, which lasts 0.6 to 0.8 seconds. Um, and in that, it shows patterns in which we move. And those patterns in which we move are either ideal or not ideal. Um, and when they're not ideal, uh, in, as in Dan's case, uh, they show up as different points of pain and discomfort in the human body. Um, in essence, I created a map, uh, a map of human movement, which initially enabled myself to watch people walk, uh, do some basic assessments, and work out how their foot or their sh is communicating with their shoulder, which is causing the problem in their low back or their hip. I was recently uh, filmed for a BBC uh, primetime TV program in, called Doctor in the House, in which we used two simple exercises to get a guy out of chronic back pain, uh, which I'm a bit nervous about that going live <laughs> in September this year, because the, the requests will normally come flooding in. Uh, but that in itself is something um, that KPI brings instantly to you, is that opportunity to create opportunity and to put yourself on a platform uh, that you've never experienced before. Um, my next obvious step was to discover what the rest of the body does. Um, and there's this weird thing where you can operate for three months to get a piece of paper uh, that allows you to work on the most complexly arranged system, the human body, called personal training. So I did a personal training qualification, sports therapy qualification, and realized really, really quickly that the conventional world of training and therapy is missing something really key. The foot. So I started piecing the parts of the puzzle together. This was just be, even before I created the map. The pieces of the puzzle led to uh, me being able to get people out of pain really quickly um, and flipped 100% um, on its head current wisdom. So I instantly became a challenge to the current industry of therapy and to this day continue to be uh, a challenge to the industry. The uh, opening to my book is, is rants, 10 rants. I'm known for ranting. Um, uh, and I give those chapters away for free, incidentally. So those, um, those free chapters are for people to read and they can decide whether they're going to fall in love with my work or hate my work. There is a massive split between the two. Um, but those people who love my work have become the people who spread the word, who do the courses, who... Um, carry the flag of anatomy in motion, which is the name of my business. And the title of the book is, is the reaction that anybody who worked with me would have. They, they would want to know, what the foot have you just done with my back pain? Where's it gone? And I stand in a room full of physios, and they'd be like, what the foot are you talking about? So it, it, it had to be. Um, producing the book, like Dan said, it took me no time at all. And like Lucy said, I teach courses um, so, and run seminars, so the content was already there. It just needed to be written down on paper. So um, I'd be teaching a course, write it down on paper, and new information would come to me because the stuff that was sitting in my head had been gone out onto paper. And that, you probably all resonate with that if you, if you teach. But I created a space for new information, new information, new information, new information, and then, then I kept going back to the book and rewriting it, rewriting it, rewriting it. I released the book um, two years after I finished KPI because I'm a perfectionist and I um, needed the book to look perfect, to... Um, to be perfect and carry a message that was a real challenge to the industry. So we, I remember putting it out there, and in the first hour, because my little PayPal app on my phone flagged up 54 sales in, in the first hour. Bing, 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 bing. We were dancing around in the kitchen with, with delight. Before KPI, I was teaching groups of four to six people, which got really frustrating, because you know you've got a really good message to share with the world. After KPI, um, and that was in London, and after KPI, uh, and this year in particular, we, I am teaching in Canada, Australia, fly to San Francisco on Sunday, New York next month, um, London, Dublin, Europe. Um, we're looking to build teachers, build an online training platform. I had no income, just passion, before KPI. <laughs> the income I did have doubled during the process of being on the course. It doubled again the year after that. It doubled again last year, and it's doubling again this year. The idea of sending a book out with your heart and soul in it was, I was shitting myself, I've got to be honest, a bit, a bit like before I came on this stage today. Um, but what it's led to, I, I, could, could never have, I could never have written it, I could never imagine it. Um, five times more practitioners in the world helping 30 people a week at minimum means that I know that we're having a massive impact in the world of well-being, 
and the way people think. And uh, I, I, I can only urge you to do it. If you've got a book in your mind, get it off the um, important, li important list, put it on the urgent list, and uh, go and spread the love, basically, of what you do. Oh, I do product as well. That's a natural P, isn't it? <laughs> Crap at my pitch, but product-wise. <laughs> product-wise, um, I sell Vimeos online. So if you know you can do that, we have Vimeos start selling uh, at a rate of knots. Uh, every time you put something out there, you have an audience that's already willing to invest. Um, I invented, I'm an inventor, uh, a little wedge, which um, helps us to reorganize people's foot functions so we can change the way their back moves. Um, and I sell those to my trainers who sell them to their clients. And we're also putting that into a consumer pack that can, uh, is opening the doors for me to speak directly to the consumer instead of just the therapists. Um, but yeah, I'm really proud to now be an educator on a world stage of chiropractors, osteopaths, physiotherapists, and to have my book tweeted with the sun and the mountains in the background and a pair of feet. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Gary.